Why are there no crocodiles in Europe? The simple answer is that there used to be. But how did they get there and why don't we find them living across Europe today? Let's first look back at the crocodile's evolutionary history to find out where it came from and, perhaps, where it is going. Some scientists believe that with climate change we may soon find crocodiles in European seas and waterways once more. If we trace back the ancestry of crocodiles, we can find a common ancestor that lived more than 200 million years ago. This was during the late Triassic and early Jurassic periods. Today's crocodiles and alligators are the only living members of a group of reptiles called the Pseudosuchians. These were a broad and varied group that first arrived on the scene 235 million years ago, around the same time as the first dinosaurs. They varied dramatically in their size and the habitat niches they occupied. One called Danosuchus lurked in swamps and grew up to 40 feet long. Others were purely marine predators hunting alongside the likes of Ichthyosaurus and Plesiosaurus. The earliest forms were believed to be more active than today's crocodiles and many lived purely on land. The variety of species differed in their dietary requirements too. Whilst some were entirely carnivorous, others were omnivores and others herbivores. But over the years, the carnivorous crocodilians dominated and became more aquatic. The herbivorous and land-dwelling crocodilians died out. There are 18 species of crocodile alive today, with the saltwater crocodile being the largest. These can grow up to 20 feet or 6 meters long and weigh over a ton. They are considered the largest reptile on the planet. So where do today's crocodiles live? True crocodiles, which doesn't include their relations such as alligators, caiman, and gharials, live throughout the tropics in Africa, Asia, the Americas, and Australia. No crocodiles are found in Europe. The climate there isn't suitable for them. But that wasn't always the case. Paleontologists have found extensive evidence for European crocodiles. Teeth, skulls, and even the osteodermal armor under their skin have been dug up across various sites throughout Europe. Most commonly found are the teeth. With an individual crocodile known to shed its teeth regularly throughout its lifetime, they can go through more than 2,000. Luckily, this leaves a significant amount of evidence for scientists who are studying their evolutionary history. It has been known for some time that several different genera of crocodilians lived throughout Europe millions of years ago. However, before now, fossil evidence had never pointed toward the European existence of true crocodiles, from the genus Crocodilus, which originated in Africa. Some fossilized teeth found in Europe belonging to this genus were found to belong to the species Crocodilus chekchii, which was native to Kenya and Libya. But how did they get to Europe? And where did they disappear to? New fossilized findings have uncovered the truth about crocodiles and their life in Europe. It suggests a dispersal event that occurred around 6 million years ago during the late Miocene. From this evidence, they certainly inhabited the southern areas of Mediterranean Europe, as concluded by their fossils being found in Spain and Italy. It is thought that the European crocodiles may have crossed the Mediterranean Sea from Africa. At the time, they likely lived throughout North Africa, just the other side of the Mediterranean. This was before North Africa became so arid and before the formation of the Sahara Desert. Swimming across the open sea was no great challenge for the crocodiles. Evidence suggests that they may have swum across the Atlantic to colonize the Americas. Even freshwater crocodiles can cope with salt water. They possess lingual salt glands that excrete salt from their bodies. Modern crocodiles can swim up to 32 kilometers per hour in the water and have been recorded swimming between islands or even between continents from Oceania to Southeast Asia. Making these journeys is what enabled crocodiles to inhabit so many parts of the world. They often swim up to 50 kilometers at a time in search of food. They time their journeys to coincide with favorable tides, making their swim easier and faster. Climate research has found that Europe was likely warmer, wetter, and more humid than it is today during the late Miocene. The ocean temperatures were warmer, making Europe habitable for crocodiles. 
So what happened to the crocodiles that once lived there? The crocodiles that lived throughout Europe six million years ago were driven from the north by a change in climate. At the end of the Miocene, the drop in temperatures was the beginning of the formation of the Greenland ice sheet in the northern hemisphere. Up until then, the Earth was unipolar, with ice only in Antarctica, at levels similar to today. However, the cooling temperatures began to affect the flora and fauna. As the Earth cooled, crocodiles moved further south to warmer climates. Millions of years ago, crocodilians were found in a vast array of habitats, from the swamps and shallows to the deep oceans and northern latitudes. Now they reside in the tropics and consist of just 18 species. Because ancient crocodiles looked similar to today's crocodiles, it's easy to assume that they have remained unchanged for millions of years. However, they have evolved through time, even if this has been at a slow rate. As they move from land-based forms to those that become semi-aquatic, they developed the gula valve. This flap of skin enabled them to seal off their throat whilst breathing through the nostrils, allowing them to lie in wait for their prey just below the water's surface. It also allowed them to attack their prey in the water without the risk of drowning. This led to their current lifestyle as semi-aquatic apex predators. These top predators have developed one of the strongest bites in the animal kingdom, enabling them to clamp down on their prey with crippling force. They feed on fish, birds and mammals. They are opportunistic, ambush hunters, and prey that is taken from dry land is dragged into the water. The crocodile will then perform its characteristic death roll, during which it intends to disorientate and drown its victim and tear meat from the bone. The crocodilian lineage is thought to have evolved most rapidly during the past 60 million years. This is likely due to the fluctuating climate they were subjected to. In fact, scientists believe that crocodiles are rapidly evolving to suit their climate. Subtle changes to their skull structure over time are a testament to that fact and show how they adapted to variations in their environment. This could mean that we will see changes in today's crocodiles as they adapt to global warming. In the wild, crocodiles alter their behavior to take advantage of varying temperatures both in and out of the water. During winter months in Australia, air temperature can range between 16 and 33 degrees Celsius, and the water temperature between 20 and 31 degrees. During the winter, the crocodiles come out of water during the morning and spend most of the day basking in the sun, elevating their body temperature so that they are most active when they return to the water to hunt later. They spend the nighttime in the water to conserve heat. During the summer, air temperatures vary between 21 and 45 degrees Celsius, and the water between 24 and 36. In these hotter times of the year, the crocodiles spend the heat of the day in the water and come out during the relative cool of the evening. They like to maintain a body temperature around 30 degrees Celsius. Although the Mediterranean Sea is warm throughout the year, it is more salty than other bodies of salt water. There is little mixing with the Atlantic Ocean, with less fresh water runoff than other coastal areas, and it has a high evaporation rate during the summer. It may be deemed too salty for crocodiles to survive in. Coastal areas around Western Europe would be less saline but are typically much cooler than the Mediterranean. They hover around 20 degrees Celsius but can freeze over in the north. Even the large bodies of fresh water found throughout Europe would be considered too cold for crocodiles to survive in. There would be plenty of fish to provide food for crocodiles, but the temperatures would likely be too adverse. These conditions are why there are no crocodiles found in Europe today. But global warming could change this. As the climate heats up, crocodiles could expand their range. They are ectothermic animals. They rely on outside heat sources, such as the sun, to maintain their metabolism. This is why they cannot survive in Europe today. The winters are too cold and the summers are not hot enough. But things could change and whilst we focus on the species that will be lost to the changing climate, such as polar bears clinging onto the shrinking sea ice, other species like the crocodiles could begin to thrive. The only thing that would be standing in their way would be humans who may destroy their habitat before they've even had a chance to move into it. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos.
Thanks for watching. See you next time.